Hello, welcome to another episode of Question of the Week. This week's question is, do you use a speaking valve? Thank you so much for your question. In order to use a speaking valve, the cuff on the tracheostomy tube must be deflated. When the cuff is deflated, the ventilator is not providing full respiratory support. For me, when I'm not receiving full support from my ventilator, I have to use my breathing muscles to help me breathe. I become very fatigued very quickly. I then need to inflate the cuff on my tracheostomy tube. To use a speaking valve, the speaking valve must be attached to the ventilator tubing. However, if I need to inflate the cuff on my tracheostomy tube, I need to take out the speaking valve for my ventilator tubing. Remember, the speaking valve is a one-way valve. It allows air into the lungs, but then snaps shut when exhaling. If I do not remove the speaking valve from my ventilator tubing, I will die from not being able to breathe out. Since I can speak without using a speaking valve, I do not use a speaking valve as it is very cumbersome to constantly take the speaking valve in and out of my ventilator tubing. Thank you so much for your question. And remember, if you have a question, you can leave it in the comments below this video or submit it to me via Facebook, MeWe, Instagram, or email. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Hello, I need to rejoice right now. This has been a very short video and still, my cell phone has been ringing and ringing and ringing. It's been driving me nuts. I usually do not use my cell phone, but in case you're wondering, today is Tuesday and I go to Bible study on Tuesday nights and people like to call my cell phone instead of my landline because my cell phone you can text message, my landline you cannot. So today is Tuesday, so I have my cell phone on and it's just been ringing all day and it's driving me nuts all telemarketers and I just had my phone on on Sunday and from Sunday until this morning at 8 a.m. I have had over 45 telemarketers leave me messages and why do I know this because my mailbox is full <laughs> so I sat there this morning listening to the the voicemails hello blah 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 delete oh hello la 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 delete Hi, la, 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 la. Delete. Ah, de, 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 de. 45 times I had to do that. And now my phone continues to ring and I'm like, look, stop calling me because they are calling for people that aren't me. I've had this cell phone number for, I don't know, five or six years, but somehow other people have had this number and they're still on calling list. And so they're like, hi, we're looking for Donna. I'm not Donna, stop calling me. And my favorite one is Maria must have had this number. So like, hola, Maria, por favor. And I'm like, I don't speak Spanish, yo. <laughs> English only. And they're like, oh, sorry, bye. <laughs> okay, but rejoice, I got this video done. And <gasps> maybe soon I can turn off my phone because it is driving me nuts and that's driving me nuts and everything's driving me nuts today. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Bye.